Hi, and welcome to the Full Draw Kitchen. Today, I'm gonna to make a great recipe that we really enjoy here at the ranch, elk meatballs. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the meatballs. We're gonna have some pork sausage with it, and I'm gonna make a real Italian sauce, and we'll serve it tonight to our guests. Okay, so this recipe is gonna call for two pounds of ground meat. Today, I have elk, but you can use antelope, you can use beef, you can basically use whatever you want. You can even use turkey and make turkey meatballs. This recipe works with almost any ground meat. And I'm gonna use one heaping tablespoon of fresh chopped garlic, a half a cup of fresh chopped onions, and I like them chopped a little bit coarse so you can actually see them in the meatball, a half a cup of Romano and Parmesan cheese grated mixed. So this is about a quarter cup of Parmesan and a quarter cup of Romano mixed. And then a half a cup of Italian breadcrumbs. We're gonna do two eggs, one egg for each pound. And lastly, some fresh chopped parsley. We're gonna add a little bit of seasoned salt to this, or you can just add salt and pepper. I like to use the mixed up salt, Jane's mixed up salt, again, to taste. And then what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna mix this. And one of the keys to really good meatballs is not to over mix. So what you don't wanna do is you wanna, don't wanna make it so mushy, you wanna have some of that coarseness to it. Again, you don't wanna over mix. You want to be able to see everything nicely. You can see the parsley and the onions. Just makes for a really good meatball. So that's actually mixed plenty right there. Okay, so we have our ground meat mixture ready. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn on the stove, medium high heat. And I've got some olive oil in there. Should be about right. We're gonna let that heat up, um, probably about a half an inch. And then we will start making our meatballs. And I like to do about an ice cream scoop size meatball. So you want the meatballs to brown on all sides. You don't necessarily have to cook them all the way through because we're gonna go ahead and put them in our sauce and let them cook in there. And then all those flavors from the meatballs will mix in with the tomatoes. So I have six cans of crushed tomatoes in my pot. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn those on a low heat. And while the meatballs are cooking on the other side, we're gonna add about a tablespoon of sugar. It helps with the acidity of the tomatoes. Some pepper and some salt. And again, that's just to taste. And then as our meatballs are cooked, we're gonna go ahead and add them to the tomatoes. And we're just gonna drop our meatballs into the tomatoes. And you wanna stir them really gently because you don't wanna break them up. And we're gonna serve about 10 people tonight, so this is gonna be just perfect. I'm also going to add some pork sausage, some nice Italian, sweet Italian sausage to this. And then we're gonna let it cook all afternoon on medium, low heat. And I'm gonna go ahead and start browning my Italian sausage. Okay, so the last of our Italian sausage is done. We're gonna add that to our tomatoes. And then the final thing that I do is, there's lots of wonderful flavors in here from the cheese and all the meat and the drippings and everything. So what I wanna do is I wanna capture all that by deglazing it with the onions that I'm gonna put into the sauce. So I have two cups of chopped onions. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the oil. And I'm gonna let those saute just a little bit until they're soft. And then we're gonna go ahead and add it 
to our tomatoes. And this is, I'm going to stir that gently. This is just about ready. And you can see the pan is nice and deglazed. Those onions grabbed up all those wonderful flavors. Turn that off. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and mix that gently, get all those onions mixed in. So we browned our meatballs, we browned our sausage, not necessary to cook them all the way through, just partially through. As long as they're browned, they'll cook the rest of the way in the sauce, and then all those flavors will mix up nicely. So we're just gonna stir that. Every once in a while, we're gonna let it simmer on medium low heat for a couple of hours. So that's our elk meatballs pork sausage. It's one of our favorite meals here at Full Draw.